Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you three things that will help you to sound better instantly. And the reason this is possible is because you are your instrument and there are so many factors that can have either a positive or negative impact on your voice. So we're gonna learn how to maximize positive, minimize the negative, and help you sound better right away. Okay, so the number one most impactful thing you can do to sound better is warm your voice up. Now, I'm not talking about just kind of walking around or sitting down and going la 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 la. I'm talking about doing an intentional, focused warm up routine that is based around science that proves that these things will actually help your voice to get warmed up, to be more flexible, and prepare you for your performance. So, one of the best ways to do this is using something called a semi-occluded vocal tract exercise, which sounds like a mouthful, but don't worry, um, it's really simple to do, and you can practice these anywhere. So the first one you could do is just puff up your cheeks full of air, you're gonna feel, and probably look a little bit ridiculous, and <laughs> make a sound. So I'm gonna fill up my cheeks like this. <laughs> so notice how my cheeks, they stayed all inflated and puffed up and I actually really had to work to send the air out. And I kept the, the front of my lips quite closed so there's this like sort of resistance here happening. And this does absolute magic for your voice. All this energy comes forward and it can't all escape so it kind of moves back and inflates your vocal tract and then that's where the magic happens and that's how you'll sound better. So. Take a few minutes. I would say, if you can, shoot for 10 minutes and do some exercises like this puffy cheeks exercise. Um, and you can just sing on like a little five note scale like this. And then you can move your voice up. And carry on that way. Now, we actually have an awesome warm up routine video that you can use to just take you through this whole process. So, all you really need to know is warm up. Do it intentionally, spend about 10 minutes, and we've got you covered. Next, make sure you can hear yourself. This is possibly the most simple and fastest way to sound better. It's miraculous how much easier it is to sound great when you can hear exactly what you're singing, when you can get in touch with like the nuance and you don't have to sing super loud so then you don't get tense because you can hear yourself. So if you have access to a microphone or and, and or, and, and a pair of headphones, you can sing and then you can hear yourself really well. It might be startling at first. You might be like, oh my gosh, that's me. <laughs> Don't be afraid of it. Head toward the sound of your voice because the more you can hear yourself, the more you can again adjust and make sure your pitch is accurate without having to work super hard. So microphone, headphones, if you can. If you can't, you can plug one ear like this or kind of cup your hand around your ear or da -da -da, head to the shower. Somewhere over the rainbow. Okay, everybody sounds better in the shower, partly because of the natural reverb, but that also helps us to hear ourselves better. So don't be shy, stand in the shower, sing a song. Finally, you need to assess yourself as you're singing. So great singers are singers that are really in touch with how the sound feels in their body as they're singing, and they're also in touch with how the sound sounds. <laughs> so. Here's what I mean. When you are going to sing, you're gonna sing a line of something. So I might be like, somewhere over the rainbow. I'll go, oh, that like, it kind of felt tight. So if things are feeling tense and tight, I'm just gonna take a moment to work on that. Do an exercise that'll help me to relax. I'm gonna sing this on something narrow, like, whoo. Because when you're tense, you gotta wanna free things up. Ooh. and then I'll put words back on it. Somewhere over the rainbow. That actually felt way better in my body that time. So I was able to take something and make it sound better instantly, but just paying attention to the process, listening to myself, feeling, and then making adjustments based on that. So if you're tense, you might wanna warm up a little bit longer or work on some narrow sounds, woo, to free it up. Um, and if you're not getting the, like, the strength you want. If you're like, somewhere, and like, oh dear. <laughs> then you might wanna work on an exercise that helps you connect, like something a little more aggressive, maybe a bit bratty, like. And then 
you could go back to it and you'll probably feel a lot stronger. So it doesn't take long. It's just about developing the habit of listening and feeling as you sing and then making those adjustments as you go to help you relax or gain that anchor to the notes that you're singing so that you can sound better instantly. Okay, so that's it, three things. Warm your voice up, make sure that you can hear yourself, and then listen, assess, and feel as you sing, and make those little micro adjustments as you go, and you will sound better right away. <laughs>